I have correct open. Let's open file, open, and this is the project I'm looking for. No, this is the one, incorrect. And I'll open this. Now, what I need to do is here, I'll maximize this. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Incorrect 2. And just add that there, and I'll click Save. And the reason that I needed to create another um, version of this is, is that the code on this button here that says Try Again, if we open up the Actions window, the Try Again code, says um, unload movie number one. Now uh, this actually might be able to be reusable um, and so we'll leave this as it is and I click save file or excuse me we won't be able to use this as it is let me um, pop this open and We'll open incorrect number two and get this appropriate code. Here we go. The correct code for our incorrect movie number two is this, um, which adds this extra line of text here, which says on level zero um, in the answer text box, change the text to blank. So if um, I entered in the, the text red into the text box and hit submit, I got the movie sorry try again because the correct answer was purple. When I hit the try again button, what I want to do is reset the uh, text box to blank. And the way that I do that is this line of code right here, um, level zero dot answer, which is the name of our instance, the text box. And uh, we're changing the text to um, quote, quote, which means the space in between here is what is actually going to be changed, which is blank. So I'm going to click this now, down, go to File, Save, File, Publish. Oops, let's see. Did we not add, oops, and what I did was I added the text, excuse me, to the frame and not the button itself. So I'm going to copy this, delete it. And the way that I, here, let me show you, the way that I knew that I added it to the frame was I got this little A mark here in the timeline. And that says that the code is actually on the frame. I can't have it on the frame. This on release is for buttons only. So I'll delete this. There we go. I'll shrink that down. Now I'll click the button itself, and I can replace that code with this new code, which has the changing the text box to blank. I'll click this, say File Save, and Publish. I'm going to minimize this down. And I'm going to do the, basically the same thing with my correct movie. This is correct. The first thing I'm going to do is save it as correct to. I'll click save. And I have to go up to correct number two. Here we go. Let me grab this piece of code. And now I'm in my movie correct too, and on this button next, I need to change the actions here, which says on the release of the button, unload the movie, and then go to level zero and go to and stop on frame number four. Now the previous movie that we made, um, the text or the uh, action script here was the exact same. It just said go to and stop at frame number three. So we had to create an external movie, a different external movie, so that we could put this variable in, um, go to and stop on frame number four. I'm going to click Save and Publish.
And now I can shrink this down. Minimize. And we'll open our main project. And let, once again, let's look at the code that we had added to our submit button. What it says is on the release of the submit button, if the answer in the text area is purple or purple with a capital P or violet, then load correct number two, which we just created. If it's not purple, purple, or violet, then load the incorrect Swift, uh, incorrect to Swift, which we also just created. So I'm going to shrink this down. Now let's give our, um, our quiz module one last test. I'm going to go to File, hit Publish, and um, I'll test my movie. So we get our, our first frame here where we added some script that said stop and uh, hang on frame number one until the user clicks the start button. And then when we do that, we go to frame two. And on this question number one, if we enter in a wrong answer, it loads the external movie incorrect dot swift. And when we click try again, it unloads incorrect dot swift. If I choose the correct answer, it loads correct dot swift. And if I click the next button, the script we put in says unload this um, external movie correct.swift and jump to frame number three, which holds our next question. And on frame number three, we have this question. Um, if I enter in a wrong answer, we get another um, external Swift, and we called this one incorrect two. The reason we had to create a new one was that on this button, when we hit try again, not only are we unloading the movie, but we're also emptying out the information that was in this uh, text box here so that I can try again. So when I enter in a, a correct answer, like purple, then I hit submit, and I get that incorrect two, or excuse me, correct two Swift to load. And the reason we had to create an, uh, a, a, a second external movie for correct is, is that when I click this next button here, not only does it unload the movie, but it jumps to frame number four. And when we get to frame number four, we get this thank you messaging, and we're done with the quiz. Now I think that wraps it up um, for this tutorial. Quite a few pieces here at play. Um, we had four external Swifts besides our main movie and on our main movie we had a number of layers and uh, put all of this information into into four frames so um, uh, I hope that uh, by going back through the tutorial you'll be able to get all the put all of the pieces together and we'll talk more about this in class and uh, thanks for watching